if you like vintage cars and military aircraft, he raises his hand. And then Wheels and Warbirds might be the place for you. Photojournalist Mike Kinney today gets the lucky straw, taking us all to the Cavanaugh Flight Museum for a ride in an iconic Vietnam Huey helicopter and a little glimpse of next week's car and plane show that's coming. Well, this is a 1964 model UH-1H Huey, a uh, Vietnam vet. Checklist, please. Served over there until about 66. Battery. And then it was shot up so bad they brought it back to the States. It's iconic. Yep, there's nothing like that blade slap. Well, we're, we're preparing for next weekend, the uh, Wheels and Warbirds. It's an annual event we have this year showcasing mainly Vietnam air, air, aircraft. Uh, and then we have the uh, Southern Nationals of the Pontiac Association group coming in. You know, for your hi history buffs, people who are around in the Vietnam era or even the current people, the aircraft uh, or Vietnam era, the cars are all the way from the 60s, you know, the muscle cars all the way on up. And they'll, they'll have GTOs and Firebirds and just a, you know, a lot of different aircraft and cars. Of course, our collection goes all the way from World War I all the way up to Desert Storm. On display, we have 45 to 50, and of those, probably 15 fly on a regular basis. I just love flying it. Uh, I flew in the Army 30 years ago, Hueys, um, but I love giving rides to the vets, uh, giving back. One of the things we've noticed is um, how therapeutic it is for the vets to come out and, and be around the aircraft and, and kind of reflect a little bit and the guys come out and they tell a story you know some of them are, are comical some of them are you know a little sad or whatever but uh, it, it's really brings back some good memories and we want to win on them. Mike Kinney our photojournalist on the job today wheels and warbirds car and plane show September 21 22 10 to 5 it'll be at the Cavanaugh Flight Museum tickets 12 bucks adults six for the kids Doug Jeans the director who you heard from in there in his staff there can't say enough about the mechanics and the people that you don't see on camera but what he talked about when when those veterans come and see feel and touch something that they may have served on it oftentimes for the families of those mm -hmm. people yeah. opens them up right and especially the Korea and the Vietnam era uh, famously a lot of those guys were not treated well when they came back right. to this country. So thanks for all the great work that they're doing.